Okay, this video covers the uh, public key encryption technology known as PGP. We're dealing with encrypted email and encrypted files being sent um, uh, across the internet. So once you install PGP Desktop, you'll have to actually create a new PGP key and it'll ask you a bunch of questions here. And uh, you'll go ahead and enter your information, <clears throat> enter your email address as I'm doing here, and your passphrase you're going to make sure is sufficiently strong enough um, to be secure. And, and the passphrase, you'll, you'll be asked your passphrase when you receive emails from people who use your public key to encrypt email. Okay, so I'll go ahead and just uh, pause the video right here. It's going to take a while to make sure my uh, passphrase is, is correct. Okay, I've finished typing in my passphrase. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. It's going to generate a public and private key for me. I'm going to hit next again and hit done. So I've got my keys here and the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and export my key and show you what it looks like. I'll put it in my documents here and hit save. Let me open my documents <clears throat> Excuse me, from my desktop and uh, show you what the actual key file looks like. Let's see if I can find it here. I'll use uh, Notepad to open it, and you can see that the key ring, the key, the public key itself, is just a bunch of gibberish, right? So what I would need to do is I would need to start an email and attach this to an email message. Now the reason I'm doing that is in order for people to send me an uh, an email that is secured and locked specifically for me they need to know what my public key is. Once they know my public key within PGP Desktop they're gonna, and, and I'll show you how that process will work outside of PGP Desktop as well right now. Let's just say I want to secure this file for someone. Okay, I've got to have their public key in my key ring. So in PGP Desktop, it's got to be listed here. Now currently this is going to make no sense, but I'm going to send this to myself and I'm going to secure it for myself. So I'll right click PGP Desktop and add sensitive info.xlsx, which is an Excel 2007 file, to a new PGP zip file. And as soon as I click that, it's going to bring up the zip assistant. I'll go ahead and hit next here. I have keys for all recipients and I'll go ahead and select them and again this is gonna make no sense but I'm gonna add myself to the list okay but normally in your key ring uh, you'd have a, a bunch of people here on the left hand side to choose from and I'll hit next and I'll go ahead and hit uh, next as well and finish okay now this file right here is a file that is secure that I can send, I can right click and I can say you know I want to send this to a mail recipient and it's secured for that individual and only that individual. When that person receives this message they're gonna have to type in their passphrase to open the actual message. Okay so uh, that's a, I guess a little bit of an endorsement for PGP desktop but really an endorsement for uh, the concept of public key encryption overall.